What's up? Take these books and convert them to word embeddings. Why should I do it? Because I want to create a chatbot to ask my questions about these books. So, I need it. Okay, then convert to word embeddings by yourself. Hmm, no, I'm not going to pay for it. You do it. By the way, all these books, they share the same topic, so there's a great chance that my chatbot might fail to answer all my questions. FYI. Have you ever tried multi-vector approach? Hmm? No. What is it? Well, instead of converting all the chunks of these books to word embeddings, you can maybe create a summary of each chunk and then convert them to word embeddings. Or beside, you can let GPD model create hypothetical questions about each chunk of your books and then convert those to embeddings as well. So more control on how you retrieve your data, maybe even a cheaper and more accurate solution. You never know. This is called multi-vector approach. You got it? You're the best. Yeah. Show it. Okay then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, before we get into the codes, let's first quickly elaborate what is multi-vector exactly. As soon as I saw this implementation by Langchain, actually, first time I saw that with Langchain, I thought it's certainly worth to go through that and create a video out of it. So basically what we have done when we want to implement RAC or retrieval augmented generation, we want to retrieve some knowledge, some documents, when we ask some questions against, let's say, our PDF or text file, whatever, we already talked a lot about those and how we can do that. It's like connecting your enterprise data to ChatGPT and chat your documents. But sometimes when you retrieve those based on the question that you ask, you sometimes see that maybe the answers are not that accurate. That's why if you have seen, let's say, on Azure Cognitive Search, which is one of those retrievers and vector database, we have multiple ways of retrieving this knowledge. One of them is using word embeddings. You convert uh, the chunk of your documents to word embeddings, and when you ask a question, you convert your question to word embeddings too, and then you calculate similarity of your question embedding with the embeddings of your chunks to see where is your answer is located based on your document to answer that in your chatbot. And in Azure Cognitive Search, that's one way to do so. They have a keyword-based semantic or hybrid approach, which uses multiple ways of retrieving that information. We already talked a lot about those in separate videos. There's a video I recorded about Cognitive Search, uh, Azure Cognitive Search Vector Database. We talked about hybrid approach there, but there is something new here, which we call it multi-vector. It is just about word embeddings and vector database, but some more modifications on that. So based on what Langchain says here, instead of you just chunking your documents and create your embeddings for a chunk, there are three different ways that you can also generate embeddings or create vectors out of your documents. One of them is creating a smaller chunks out of your main chunk, which we call it um, children chunk, or compare the child's to the parent chunks. This will give you more control on how you retrieve the knowledge, not only calculating similarity with the pattern chunk, but also with these smaller chunks. The second way is creating summary out of chunks. For example, if I have these five chunks, I create summary out of them, and you might question, how do I create a summary out of my chunks? Well, use GPT models. This is what we're gonna do today. With GPT-4, I create summary out of my chunks, and then I convert embeddings of the summary as well. So next time when I ask a question, now I have the embeddings of the summaries too to retrieve the knowledge. And last one, hypothetical question. Again, we use GPT model to create questions about a chunk. For example, if a user might ask a question that the answer is inside this chunk, what do you think those questions will look like? Give me three or five question examples. Again, we use GPT models to create those questions and then we compare those questions to word embeddings to calculate similarity and retrieve the knowledge we want. So you will see that you can not only just convert your initial chunks to word embeddings, you can also have these embeddings alongside your main chunk embeddings or replace your chunk embeddings with these embeddings. You can have all of them, none of them, or just one of them, right? That's why it's called multi-vector to give you more control and 
potentially more accurate uh, retrieval in case of your use case. So uh, I add the code that I used, the reference code, to the Discord channel on the reference section. And the Discord channel link is under video description here. But I'm going to quickly show you how you ran the code and show you the results to show you those implementation in place. And I use Google Colab. You can use anything. This is just a Python environment. Make sure you just install OpenAI, Langchain, Chroma. We're going to use it for our sample vector database and TikTok. Okay, I install all of that. Of course, not a good practice to put your key in the notebook, but that was just an example I added, and I revoke this for sure. And here I'm importing the relevant uh, tools that I want from Langchain. And in this Langchain example, I am using two text files, regardless of the information inside. Again, you can have your cognitive search database or vector database or your own PDF files, whatever. These are just examples, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert my each document to chunks, and the chunks is going to be 10,000 tokens. And as soon as I have this chunking definition, then I'm going to create my vector database in memory. Again, yours can be any vector database. Just an example here. And when I define this vector database in memory, I create multi-vector retrieval. It's actually complex, but the nice thing is that it is created by Langchain. You just import it. You don't need to implement it by yourself. So I define my retriever as a multi-vector, not just a simple word embeddings retriever. And then I give it, I create a uh, unique ID and associate it for each document. Now, I can do the same, but this time I can have the same docs, but having that in more smaller chunks. These are the children that I told you about. And then for each document that we chunk, I go ahead and create this chunk, a smaller chunk size. Then I will add it to my vector database, which is Chrome on the top. And now when I ask a question, let's say, just give it a name, or you can have any question. This is a question you want to ask against your documents, right? So you will see that my information is back from the relevant chunk, and the length of that is almost, let's say, 10,000 tokens, okay? But again, this is just an example of chunks, and a smaller chunks. But how about creating a summary out of the chunks. This is the second way that I told you about. So here I'm creating a chain defined in lang chain. I'm saying that for each content of the chunks that I have, go ahead and do something. Summarize the following document. This is a task that ChatGPT gonna or GPT4 gonna do for us on backend and it has my open AI key so it knows how to connect to that. And then when I have this definition of chain, I'm going to tell that run this over my chunks in a batch size of maximum five in concurrent. That's it. Then I will add the summaries as well to my vector database, again, which is in memory. So the same thing you saw on the top. And now when I have added these summaries, I can add it to my vector database. And this time I ask again the same question. But look at that. The page content also have the summary. This was something new. So the summary was created before and now retrieving the summary as well. I can also retrieve the original page content as well and get the length too. Now, the third way is creating hypothetical question. How can I do it? Remember, opening it has something called function that it will let you structurize the output of your question from ChatGPT or GPT-4, whatever. So I'm defining a function. I'm saying that I want to generate hypothetical questions. And the only field that is required to make sure I have it is the questions that you're going to create and some type information and stuff. Then I create another chain for each chunk of my documents. I'm going to tell that generate three hypothetical questions for the given document. That can be four, five, whatever. And use GPT-4 on Mac-end. And the name of the function call is hypothetical question, which I specified on the top here. And that's it. I ran it just for, for example, one of the chunks. And there you go. Three questions relevant to that chunk was generated. Then I run this for all the docs in batch size of maximum five in concurrent. And then I add it, again, the same thing. I add it to the vector database that I have for each chunk of question. And lastly, when I ask the same question, you will see that those generated questions for that chunk will also get visualized for me with the same content that I can retrieve them as well. So to wrap up what we did, just think beyond converting your chunks word embeddings as is. You can have a little bit of more creativity here. Summarize them and then convert to them to word embeddings or create 
potential questions out of those chunks and then convert them to word embeddings. And these are just examples of Langchain. You can actually implement yours with any vector database, with any documents that you have. And honestly, this multi-vector approach is just a concept. To me, you can go beyond just summary or beyond just generating hypothetical question. Think about how you can manipulate or be creative on how you can get out of your chunks based on your use case, based on the domain of the documents, and then convert them to word meanings. This will let the job of retrieving your knowledge when you ask a question much, much easier, faster, and even cheaper, and potentially more accurate. So converting your chunks to just word meanings as is is the most basic approach that you're just saying that convert whatever in this chunk to the word embeddings, then I can calculate the similarity later. But with these tricks, you can make it more accurate, and I hope this video was just an excuse or a mean to really trigger that creativity based on your use case and see what you can do with your chunks and then ask your questions. And if you want to do with one of these examples, then you don't need to implement, use the multi-vector retrieval approach of the Lang chain and see how it works. I hope that short video was helpful and give you some ideas. If you have any questions or ideas, feel free to share in the comment section or chat in Discord channel and let what other people think about in the community and let's grow it together. Thank you all my friends. If you want to get more money, power, happiness, give yourself less. You might have too much. What you're using is using you. What you are consuming is consuming you. What you are buying is buying you. So if you want to get more in life, give yourself less. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.